In a Class D quarterfinal on Tuesday in the Sioux, Forest Park defeated Posen 69-56 to advance to the state semifinals in East Lansing. Good evening, everyone. So the top-ranked Trojans were able to get by the number two-ranked Vikings just two days ago. Tonight, Forest Park was back at the Breslin Center, taking on the Athens Indians, the team that eliminated the Trojans in the state semis two years ago. We had some technology issues tonight from Lansing. We will have the official looking highlights tomorrow for you at 5.30. Forest Park trailed by one, entering the fourth in the final quarter. Lexi Gusser put her team on her back. A big three here. She finished with 20 points. Three minutes to go. The Trojans up by seven, trying to kill some clocks. Sierra Robarge, what are you doing? Never mind. Biggest three of her life. That put Forest Park up by 10. The Trojans outscored Athens by 17 to nothing in the fourth to win it 49-43. Afterwards, the Trojans talked about having to play without Gussert, who was in foul trouble most of the game. In the fourth quarter, as in many of our games, we finally wear teams down. I think it has a lot to do with our depth and, and our aggressive defense that we tried to play all, all game. I mean, obviously being a leader, you don't want to be sitting on the bench, especially in a semifinal game. So yeah, it was a little bit frustrating, but I knew I had to be there for the team, and they did a great job. But yeah, I, I was ready to play. I mean, I sat the most I have all year, so I was a little pumped up, yes. It was a lot different, because I'm not used to it, but I think overall, it wasn't just me. I know I tried to take charge, and I tried to be that leader when she stepped off, but everyone else stepped up too. The post played tougher. My other guard played tougher. I mean, everyone, it was really a team togetherness that really helped us through that. Interesting stat I just remembered. Forest Park has only trailed twice entering the fourth quarter of play all season. The last two games in the quarterfinal on Tuesday and in the semifinal tonight. And guess what? They showed up in the fourth quarter and took care of business. So the Trojans knocked out the Indians and they are off to the championship game where they will face, drumroll please, Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart bright and early at 10 a.m. Saturday morning. So the Trojans are one game away from a state championship and a perfect season. The UP's only other team still left in the tournament. St. Ignace is also still alive. The Saints held off Gross Point Woods University Liggett today, 34-30 in a Class C semifinal. So St. Ignace will go for its second consecutive state championship. They won a Class D title last year. The Saints will face Saginaw Nouvelle in the Class C final Saturday at 4 p.m.